So a little while ago, I did a video on the rise and fall of creative recreation. And in the video, I discussed how they managed to rise to the top of a highly competitive sneaker industry and become a major player in the early to mid 2000s. You should really go check that out. It's a pretty informative video. But after doing the video, to my surprise, I was contacted by the guys at Creative Recreation and informed that they wanted to send me a pair of their most current projects so that I can report on what they've been up to lately under the new management. I actually was honored that they would reach out to me considering that we're a small but still growing, like and subscribe by the way, channel and decided to do a video on the unboxing of said sneakers. So with that being said, let's get it. Once the shoes arrived, pretty quickly by the way, I might add, that mean they got here like about a week or so after they mailed them. I unpacked the shipping box and off top I noticed the quality of the sneaker box itself. Now I know most people don't pay much attention to sneaker boxes, but it stuck out to me because most boxes are just pretty much cardboard. This one had a texture, luxurious feel to it. Also, the gold logo text and limited edition tags gives it an upscale feel overall. The top of the box on the inside shows the company's business mantra. I also really thought it was a nice touch from the dust bag that they included in there. You can tell they devoted a lot of attention to detail with the gold embroidered logo and the aglets on the drawstrings. Like I said, I mean, I thought it was a nice touch. They also included a thank you note inside for me making said video. And on the note, they explained how they realize now that one of the biggest problems that they had in the past was that they created way too many styles and weren't focused enough on attention to detail and quality. They explained how now they have totally flipped their focus and strive to produce quality over quantity. And taking one look at the sneakers that they sent me, I can see what they mean, as these are much more luxurious than what I remember them being in the past. They didn't originally ask me what color I preferred beforehand, and my first thought of the brown on brown was a, it was a bit understated. But once I put them on, they instantly grew on me. The color scheme gives an upscale feel, like a mixture between business casual and grown man fresh all at the same time. The muted earth tones make the shoe way more versatile than they would be if they were a louder and wilder colorway. They're also perfect for the cold season, taking on a winter boot-like feel, if you know what I mean. The leather quality is super rich, and in fact, they feel better in hand than some of the Nikes in my collection. When we take a look at the stitching and embossing, it shows that a lot of attention to detail there also. The logo on the side is strategically placed and nicely integrated into the overall design. And the gold lace fixtures are also a nice touch that further give a boot feel to the design itself. And once I put them on, they felt good, pretty comfortable. They look good with sweats, jeans, or dress pants, which is why I said they're super versatile. You can pair them with pretty much any look you want. I can easily see these becoming a part of my rotation and I'm not just saying that because they were free. I mean, I'm really taken by the quality of these sneakers. As a fan of creative recreation in the past, I like the direction that they're going in now. You can tell that they put a lot of focus on the more upscale product to make it more luxurious. All in all, I recommend them. I mean, when you take a look at the website, they've got some nice designs there too, including a Made in Italy collection. The new designs are pretty creative, no pun intended. <laughs> with an original new age feel to them. And if the quality is as elevated on those as they are on the pair that they sent me, then it's a nice look. Stop by the site and check them out for yourself. I mean, whether you were a fan in the past or you're just getting introduced to the brand now, I don't think you will be disappointed. In the original video I did, I asked at the end if you think that creative recreation can make a comeback. And after checking out what they're up to these days, I have to personally say, I think they're on the right track. Quality over quantity is definitely the way to go. The recenter focus was a good move for the brand and a level up from the days past. I mean, I really like to start doing more unboxing video and on feet videos like this one. So hit me up in the comment section and let me know if you like this one and if you'd like to see more episodes like this. I'm Nate the Great from takeflight214.com and thanks for watching. 
and don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button if you want to be updated every time we drop a new video like this but with that being said until next time peace and merry christmas because it's almost that time of the year the most wonderful time of the year <laughs> but nah seriously peace out